And a unique program is helping Colorado inmates improve their literacy skills by using graphic novels. Denver 7 reporter Kristen Scovira spent an afternoon in the Boulder County Jail where inmates are using a new program to channel their creativity. Even though they're locked up and in jail, they're still humans and they still have feelings and thoughts and, and a need to express themselves. Um, maybe more so because of their circumstances. 338 days in the Boulder County Jail. 36 days from being able to go home. For Irvin Funderburg, a repeat DUI offender, his body may be locked up, but his mind is wandering. I'm more like into the superhero type stuff, uh, Batman, Superman, that type of stuff. Because it's a lot to do in six frames. Irvin is enrolled in a six week class created by Denver nonprofit Pop Culture Classroom. We would like you to create a four to six panel comic of your own that is um, illustrated but also has a storyline. This program is run by one of the founders of Denver's Comic Con. They provide a fantastic escape in that the superheroes, they're all powerful. And typically they have one foible that they need to overcome. Lead with Comics is one of nearly 60 programs offered at the jail. Programs intended to help inmates re enter their communities after they're released. Kind of a shock to me initially, and um, I'm thinking, you know, how, how do people read comic books and it be effective for their literacy? Sergeant Lydia Mitchell has been with the Boulder County Jail for nearly two decades. She says changing a person's actions begins by changing their thought process, otherwise, they'll victimize again. We can't not to do something here. We have to do something. We have to offer something. For inmates like Irwin, that something is pencil, paper, and one more chance to be the hero, not the villain. It kind of brings you back to who you are. For Denver 7, I'm Kristen Scovira. And you can help Pop Culture Classroom promote literacy through comics to inmates, kids, and reluctant readers. We have more information on the DenverChannel.com.